gin, one scotch. One gin, one scotch. One gin, one scotch. Hey, 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 babe, come here. Uh, give me a pack of cigarettes, huh? Yes, sir. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. Keep the change, too. Thank you very much. Yes. Please, please, sir. I'm from the Middle West. <laughs> you know her, ain't you? Yes, sir, I am. Oh, yeah. Please, sir. Hey, Kylie, I'll take a box of bullets. 38 and 45. Uh, 45s. Uh, dum dums, if you got me. Yes, sir, right there. Hey, uh, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Cigars, cigarettes, bullets. How's it going, Fred? The big night, the moose will be happy. The moose, the moose. It's all I ever hear around here, the moose. I do all the work and he gets all the dough. You shouldn't talk like that. You know the moose, he's got ears. And he's got ears like a, a hawk. The moose. I'm getting pretty fed up with the moose. Hey, it's the moose. Was over on the other side of town. He couldn't help overhearing what you just said. <laughs> you know, the moose here, he got ears like a hawk. What do you want we should do with this rat moose? Mm. Mm. Take him away, boys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, continue with the festivities. Okay, moose. Mm. Don't mark my heart down to 
She's loaded with Moxie. What's your name, baby? Moxie Hart. Moxie Hart. <laughs> I told you she had. Now look, baby, if you play your cards right, I'll, uh, I can buy you a lot of things, you know. But I just told you, sir, you can't put a price tag on love. You can buy a chicken or a dog. All right, I heard. <laughs> now look, one thing you gotta get straight, I'm the moose, and what I say goes around here. And I say you're mine. I'm not yours, and I'll never be yours. Cigars? Cigarettes? Bullets? Nobody says no to the moose. Nobody says no to the moose. What I get, I get. What I want, I take. And I always get what I want. What happened tonight? I didn't get what I want. <laughs> I want a girl. I want a girl. I want a girl. Look, boss, you got a girl. That's the old girl. I want a new girl. Well, you think you would? You can't push me aside like this all the time. What the moose wants, he takes. Look, you! Why don't you like me? Because you're uncouth. Cigars, cigarettes. What's that, uncouth? Uncouth, boss? That, that means you ain't got no couth. <laughs> so I ran short on couth. What's that? <laughs> I can fix that. Look. Bugsy, you go right now in town, you buy every drop of cooth there is, you understand? <laughs> every drop of cooth in town, take the truck. Yeah, but what for? Yeah, you don't get cooth like that. That ain't the way it comes. You gotta go and line cooth. You gotta go to a school. You gotta line it. All right. I'll line it. We'll go to the biggest college, and I'll get the biggest cooth teacher there is. <laughs> All right, let's go. Last thing I do, I'll get him for this. What did you say? I didn't say a word, Boothard. Not a word. Not a word. Must have been somebody in the next block. I'm pulled a little too hard. Let's go. in a barber shop across the street and I heard that. What is? What is? Now look, we're all gonna get cooped up here. <laughs> we're gonna learn cooped. That's what we came here for, to learn. And we're all gonna graduate magna cum coothy. <laughs> all right. Here comes Professor Bernard Cyrano. Take it easy. Morning, class. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Cyrano. Mr. Cyrano. <laughs> Now, I've gone over your examination papers, and most of them are excellent. However, Muggsy, I cannot accept your answers on English literature. I also cannot accept your bride. Now, to you from left back. Boss. You know what that means, don't you? Yeah, I know, boss, but you've got to give me a chance, boss. I'll study tonight in the getaway car. OK. Now, we will take history. Moose, will you please stand? Yes, Mr. Cyrano. No, no, it's all right, fellas. You sure you're safe up here alone, You need protection, boss. Just keep it up. Okay. Right. Now, Moose, will you tell me what you learned about Napoleon? Uh, Napoleon. Yes, sir, Mr. Cyrano. Uh, this year, Napoleon, one thing I learned from him was that this guy was always ready. Every picture I ever saw of Napoleon, 
He was always had his hand on his rod. <laughs> what can we learn from Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo by Duke of Wellington? Well, uh, if you're a short gangster, stay away from tall Englishmen. You have the essence. I'll give you a 75% on that. What do you mean, 75? You ought to get it. He says I get 75, I get 75. You should have got Shut up! up. Personally, I think I deserve the name. Now we will read one of Shakespeare's most beautiful sonnets. I'll knock off with that stuff. And Shut up! We're going to sop up some Shakespeare. Shake. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. The rough, the rough winds. He who doth laugh at Shakespeare might get his buddy Trun in yon river. Of course, I wouldn't laugh no more. I couldn't even talk no more. All right, check it up. So long as men can breathe, her eyes can see. So long lives this, and this gives life to thee. Class dismissed. Good afternoon, students. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Mr. Cyrano. Hey, uh, Mr. Cyrano, that was, uh, that Shakespeare stuff, that's pretty good, you know? Well, oh, thank you, Mr. Moose. May I say you have developed a splendid appreciation for the finer things. You see that? That's a golden mouth, you know what I mean? That's a guy, all he had to do was say, yeah. You know? But him, he parlayed one word, yeah, into a many splendored thing. <laughs> yeah, if I, had, if, I had a, if I had a gift of gab like him, I could get the girl myself. You oh, know? you'll do all right, Moose. And now I must repair to the verdant fields of literary sustenance. The better to serve you in your pursuits of erudition. See that? All he had to do was say, C is around. But then he had that with that, he ended up with that pursuit of aviation, whatever. Well, it was. gentlemen, <laughs> I'll see you <us> around. <laughs> hey, look. Did you send my girl flowers? Fresh ones every day. And did you, did you send her a car? Fresh ones every day. Good. And how about that singing teacher? Did you get a singing? Fresh ones every day. And all this unbeknownst to her, right? Completely unbeknownst, boss. She got no idea where it's coming from. Oh, it was you who sent me all these things. Well, you can take them all back. I don't want any of them. There, there. I thought you said all this was but unbeknownst to her. That's right, boss. I done just what you said. I put on the card to baby from daddy. All the time I thought it was my father who sent me these things. <laughs> then I remembered I'm an orphan. That's good thinking. So what? So you still can't put a price tag on my heart. He, you can buy a chicken. Dog. All right, I heard that. Now look, baby. All I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get cool stuff for you. You know why? Because I can, so I can tell you what's in my heart. I beg your pardon, Mr. Moose, but I seem to have misplaced my red pencil box. <laughs> I got an idea. Come here. Look, you two. Now look, I want you, I, I want you to tell this girl what's in my heart. You understand? Uh, you, know, you know what I mean, Prof? And, and look, I want you to, from now on. You, 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 you think he's me, you understand? He's gonna tell you what I think of you. And, they, and understand that he is me. He's me from now on. It's irregular procedure. How shall I tell you how I love you through him? I love thee more than all the stars in the beds you take for me. Thou art beautiful, a thousand horses could not tear us apart. Uh, don't spare the horses. Two thousand horses could not tear us apart. Four thousand horses. That's it. Thy lips, thy beautiful lips, I might kiss them. You see how I love you, darling? I shall kiss thy lips, for there is flame with the head. See, I'm kissing you nice. I, darling, I must feel them again against you. <laughs> how sweet, how sweet. <laughs> darling. I'm kissing her, but I don't feel anything. <laughs> Wait a minute! Look, I'm out here. Look, you still work for me. What are you trying to do, open up your own store? But I love her. I love her. And I love you too, Mr. Ron, Mr. Oh, Ron. I beg your pardon. This is uh, Professor Bernard Cyrano, Moxie Hart. Huh? Darling! Wait a minute! Now look, you, you go back in the library and bury your nose in a book. Or I'll bury you, your nose, and your book under the library. How should I get out of here? Get out! Of here. Come come get out. Now look, you, I'm sick and tired of treating you with cooth. From now on, it's brute force. I built a brand new nightclub for you, and I made you a star, and you're going to sing it. No, you I hear? won't, I won't. You'll sing it, and I'll break your voice. No, I won't. <laughs> Boss, we're in big trouble. Duke Wellington from the Club Waterloo across the street is real sore with his whole mob because we're cutting in on his territory. Don't bother me with trifles now, you understand? But, boss... Shut up! I got a show to put on and open up a club. Give me a 
Roll on them drums there. <laughs> Don't you ever try that again, I'll blow a hole in your tom-tom. <laughs> Get in cover. Right, boss. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the Club Coot. Uh, we're gonna have a grand, uh, grand show, and you're gonna have a grand time, and you're gonna have a grand singer of songs from a grand girl that I pay a grand a week. <laughs> Miss Moxie Hart, now let's have a little applause right here, huh? Shall we? All right. Moose, I don't want to sing. Sing or I'll blow up your voice. Let me try to again. I may laugh and be smart. There's a smile on my face. But such a frown in my heart. Oh, a gangster and a professor fell in love with me. Oh, which one shall I choose? They're both the gangster and the professor want me to play. Oh, the guy that's the... it! That's him! That's the moose! Go on, dude! Show him! Show him! Thanks for the light. I'm the star of another show, and I'm not worried about you anymore. You want a little dessert? <laughs> I don't know where you get your information, Moose, but this is my territory, and nobody opens a nightclub in my territory. And as you know, my territory extends from 125th Street to Cleveland. <laughs> uh, I think you misread the maps. As of now, Duke, your territory extends from your feet to the top of your head. <laughs> if you want to hang on to that territory, you'll be very polite, pay your cover charge, and get out of here. <laughs> That's pretty big talk, Moose. If you don't get this nightclub off these premises in 24 hours, your little canary will be chirping from the bottom of the East River. Look! You want to fight with me? Fight with me! Don't touch her! I don't care what you do, you want to fight it out, fight it out with you anywhere. But don't you touch a hair on our head, you hear? That would hurt, wouldn't it, Moose? Okay, we ain't going after you. We're going after your girl. Wait a minute, Duke. I'm surprised that you came down here, a big man like you. You ought to be up at the doctor's looking after your foot. What foot? That foot! <laughs> <laughs> we'll be waiting for you tonight outside. I hope you can sing underwater, baby. Now you're gonna get it. <laughs> I heard that whole conversation, and you have the audacity to call yourself a man. You're nothing but a baby, a spoiled baby. You realize what you've ruined? The love that I bear for Moxie and that Moxie bears for me could have vaulted and soared to the heavens. You got a golden mouth, Ralph, but you got nothing to back it up with. I intend to follow my words with deeds. No, 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 darling Cyrano. If we have to go, let us go together. No, no, my dear. I have a plan. You shall see. What are you going to do, Cyrano? What am I going to do? <laughs> now, they'll think that I'm her. <laughs> Not for a million years. Please you shave your legs, something, you know. Look, Ralph, 
The minute tell me you're willing to die for Moxie. A thousand times told. <laughs> Take off your mink. You ain't going nowhere tonight. What do you and mean? you, you love the professor here? As only a girl from the Middle West can. <laughs> okay, I guess that's it. All right, grab it. And look, I want you to treat her right, or I'll get you wherever you are, you understand? Okay, I'll, I'll clean them out myself. <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt you, baby. Oh, Moose. Don't worry. <laughs> How do you like that? Me, Big Moose, doing something for somebody else. <laughs> and you know something? It feels good. <laughs> I'll be right back. Here he comes. I hide that. Yes. <laughs> Go get him, Wim. They didn't even touch me. All right. <laughs> okay, the coast is clear. You mean you got them all? There's no one left except me. There's not much left to me. <laughs> Moose, I had you all wrong. This was a magnificent high and mighty thing you did. Let's just call it a little wedding present, eh? You know, Moxie, <laughs> now it's speaking of mine. You were hoping I bought a a couple of tickets for the, for the Ile de France for tonight. So why don't you, you two use these two tickets? <laughs> Moose! Oh, Moose! You are seriously hurt! <laughs> Dying is serious, then I'm hurt! <laughs> I guess that's the way the little ball bounces, huh? <laughs> Look, Prof, you, you take good care of her, you hear? I'll, I'll, I'll get you wherever you are. Come on, Maxie. I'm afraid so. Well, he certainly went like a real coon. <laughs>